Welcome to Wayland Yutari. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris with the 3.10 Pikes patch and with all the DLCs. We just got the Rubricator, the dragon has been destroyed, we're sending everything back home. We are going to build shit now. Let's see what we can get here. Alien Zoo, Administration, Proper Rest, they need to just resettle people. To somewhere here, maybe. There we go. Level up. Level up. Trade and research. Astral siphon. Oh, Research Institute, there we go. Give me that. That's our first Research Institute, then. Uh, what should I have here? Trade rights, yeah. Commercial zones. Level up research. Give us the last piece of mining district. Uh, trade. Alloys. Gas mining. mining yeah let's go with synthetic crystal plants I don't have one of those yet level up the astral threads go research twice and oh civilian industries Here we should go with administration and guess that's it for now. Dean clinics, I haven't tried those yet. Uh, administration. Food. Let's go with um, robots. Research. Mining crystals. Level up the research. Crystal mines. Level up the research and build. Yeah, let's go with whole of theaters just to get the amenities, but we don't we need also more trade here. Yeah, trade trade. Trade trade. Gene clinics, research.
trade and we need a city district. City district. Same here. There we go. Spending a lot. We also have colonish on colony ships on their way. We have four planets to colonize. Four planets needs to be colonized. Let's check here. We need to expand as well down here. Let's go to this world here. Yeah, Starbase outpost. And uh, I do have one more. Yes. So that's one, two, three, four, five more colony ships. They are full. Yes. Let's see what happens in this astral jungle again. We refitted the Rift Sphere sample collection apparatus into the into an excavation tool, and used it to dig away the mouth of the ch chasm. This was the more difficult choice, if you remember. After cutting through a thick layer of moist yellow mulch, we discovered a new layer of soil. Ochre in color, it broke into scale-like layered fragments as we dug, releasing a small burst of trapped pink gas from the slightest mechanical agitation. Uh, with this layer of soil contained highly concentration of organic compound, it was not nearly enough to have been the source. Digging deeper, the harvesting tool then pierced through a darker, more crimson-colored soil layer. At this, the ground erupted violently. Thick clouds of pink gas poured forth from the gouge we had made. The dark earth then moved as if it were alive. Our harvesting tool was rapidly enveloped in, a scar in scarlet earth and crushed to scrap. The surface around us shook with increasingly violent tremors and we retreated back into the upper atmosphere. We are no longer welcome here. Minerals, 5,100 exotic gases. Let's see what happens next. The nature is uh, growing angry. Alright, we have colony ships here, right? We have two colony ships, so one of them is going to stay in Sol. Guinea. Guinea. Let's go to Mars. We can finally colonize it. And Isis Crystal Palace should go to Alpha Centauri, right? Yeah, Proxima Centauri B. What the fuck? No, that was not it. Ah, uh, there's a pre uh, pre civiliz atomic age civilization there. That is correct. There was another world, though. Nilwing, yes. So, Guinea, no, and Crystal Palace down here. This is the world we're talking about. Let's go here. That is a continental world. Being habitable all the, all the way out here with such a hot star. The Class B stars are very hot. I guess we are being repaired. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Repair yourselves. There we go. Then upgrade everything. Um, Commander. Yeah, yeah, Admiral. Open up more rifts if we can. 
all the way up there. We have so many rifts. We need to have rift explorers. Yeah, he's high level. So why the fuck is he at home? Uh, yeah, let's let's go up there and what? What? Why, why can I not do that rift? Head of research. Deja vu dig. Oh, that's another dig site. Oh my god. Yeah, you should do that. Excavate that site. Then we have you. These guys are level three, level four. She could do it, maybe. Explore Astral Rift, yes. Upscaling complete. We're losing way too much consumer goods right now. I actually want to buy a bunch instead of having constant trade with it. So let's buy 5,000. Research actualized. Energy crates from jobs. Exploit resource dark matter. Yes. We have a lot of that in our empire, actually. Uh, destroyer build cost. I think the, these torpedoes are very useful as well. Torpedoes are very good against larger ships. And that is truth that is the truth in all games actually. In all paradox games at least. So we have two more private colony ships on the way. But right now I'm thinking which planets we're talking about here. Let's see. Yeah, this one here as well. Yes. And where is? All right, so I can I can cancel one of these, right? Overseer. The extraction of the shard's eye was a messy process with a few false starts. Luckily, the behemoth had a lot of eyes for us to practice on. We then towed the optic to Sol, and something both fascinating and revolting happened. The Oculus started attaching and integrating itself to, into the local starbase overlooking Earth. So it's the, it's the ring, probably. Um, the cause of this is unknown, but then again, much of the Drake's physiology is beyond us. The fusing is not complete yet, but our scientists believe it has to be halted now if we are to proceed with our previous plans. Uh, let's just see with the sight of the shard. I think that's a good thing. Yes, planet sensor range, high planet. Scra scrape it off. Very carefully remove it. No, I want to use the shard. Use it. Uh, yeah, nice. Rexicodium master rival. Nice. How many um, Research actualized. rifts are we having here? Rifts, uh, astral rifts. There are a lot of them. One is not within our imp imperial borders. Hyper entertainment forums, galactic stock exchange. Uh, that sounds like us, right? Unlocks orbital ring. Yes. That is something we want. So when it comes to the um, orbital ring, I want to upgrade that, but it costs a lot, so... 100 influence, no. 
I want to expand with that first. The jungle again. We analyzed the peculiar pink soil that we collected and confirmed the existence of a wider mineral-based biological organism. We believe that this material and the crimson substance that crushed our tool is all part of the same living being, as I suspected, the planet itself. Our hypothesis is that this sentient planet manufactured its own ecosystem designed to continuously provide it with highly nutritious and submissive l livestock. The soil has remarkable fertilization pro properties and explains the extreme density of the vegetation on the planet's surface. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a death world. We have been able to apply some of this principle to our own farming methods. Yeah, it's full of life. Every inch of that world is life. Nain of vitality crops. Nice. Research actualized. That's pretty cool. I want to know what that is. So that is explored and done. All right. That means you can go to another rift. Where do we have rifts? Procyon. Do that. So. Let's see. I want to know what that is all about. N ah, okay, it's the next level of this. Nice. It's just called that. Uh, oh, so we got a new one here. Dimensional lock. <laughs> I can control who enters and who no do not enter. Allows science ships to place one one dimension lock on a wormhole L gate shroud. That's pretty cool. You can control the wormholes. Alright. Badam has a colony. No, it's not done yet. Uh, quite done. Building as fast as it can. Research actualized. Got the torpedoes. Elgate Insight. Give it to me. Strange transmission here. In the aftermath of the exploration of the Astral Rift in Sol, a mysterious transmission was received. Our scientists have determined its origin to be from beyond the Rift itself and have only been able to translate a few words. Attune with the planets, we will find you. What the fuck is this? This is an amiss... That was scary. It's not these guys, but it, that was the voice and then silence again. Uh, let's see, two hundred... No. That's fucking crazy. Is there still a rift in Sol? No, it isn't. Alright. Yeah, you are supposed to go here. Oh. Yeah, that's three of them. Crystal Palace... Wait a second. Yeah, one of them is going. Crystal Palace is going there. The other two, they are supposed to go here. Both of them? Yes. And then we have Jamaica. We'll go here. And colonize this world. Size 24. I'm waiting for the upgrades. I want to boost my fleet like crazy. We are upgrading like crazy here. Robotic uprising. Ah, okay, it's the F pre FTLs that have robotic uprising. Uh, Tumble down, all right. You can read it yourself here. Keep digging. Upscaling complete. Exploring Astral Rift, you do that. Uh, yeah, we should expand here. Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three. <sighs> we need one more private coalition. <clears throat> Upscaling complete. <laughs> Minister of Defense Andreas von Boyan died. We need another Minister of uh, Defense. Yeah, it should be him, right? But that's the army, let's see, I don't, Empire Ship Weapon Damage plus 5, Army Damage plus 5. So it gives more damage in general like this. Um, she gives sublight speed. Uh, yeah, he should be the Minister of Defense. Yeah. Or she, it's a she actually. Okay, create an ancient tube archaeological... Okay. All right. That's another archaeological site there. Okay, we're starting this one, right? It's there. Yeah, this is the first one in Propion. What will we find here? This rift contains the aftermath of a titanic struggle. All that's left of the wreckage uh, of a military fleet and the corpse of a monstrous creature. Ten times the largest of the battleships from tip to tail. It, con it contrasts to the mangled hulls of uh, the warships. The carcass is in remarkably good shape. Whatever weapons these ships used, they seem to have hardly damaged it. We have not yet determined what caused this creature demise, but it seems unlikely it was the result of the battle. The beast must have remarkable durability. Analyzing its molecular composition should help us strengthen the hulls of our fleet. On the other hand, we could attempt to study its internals, perhaps learning how this creature died and what exactly occurred here. Let's get in there. Yeah, study its composition. Let's get in there. Higher difficulty, but we will take the chance. So how does this work? It does work like... Like... Um, excavation. Breakthrough, difficulty, skill, clues. It's exactly the same. Uh, it's just that, that the scientist is locked in, into position. You cannot get her out until it's done. But I, I think it works as a that kind of mechanic, excavation mechanic. It, it works. Okay, another one. Yeah. Angola. Let's go here. And bountiful. That will be here. Upscaling complete. All right. Get again. Ooh, uh, this is a yeah. This is kind of dangerous. Th this is kind of dangerous. We will fight Corinth and Vural Stellar Hierarchy and Raxicodium. So Clorciso wishes to declare war. So we are not being declared on. Clorciso is attacking Raxicodium. So two federations going at each other. We are going at them. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I want to do this. But then again, we could get these guys in our asses, which is kind of bad. But I don't want to piss off the, the Federation, so I will vote yes, so we're at war with them now. Not directly, but we will support it. I'm building my fleets as we speak as well, so... Uh, that is the um, shields... Let's see, that is the shield harmonics. Yeah. Um, so I'm a bit nervous about this. 
Too many threats going on, and fuck, this is taking a long time to upgrade what we are upgrading, but we're gaining Columbia military power as we are doing it. Better Stefani, failed robotic uprising. That's good. We also need to send construction ships around here now to build research stations where we have dark matter. Where do we have dark matter? We have this guy. Needs to go here and build a research station. I guess that's it. Yeah, we have four of them. Collective waste management. Nice, it went through. We wanted that. Ship, research speed. Oh, we got 84,000 society research. That's kind of nice. Okay, and it was finished. Right. Uh, you should go to the next site then. Where is that? Voon. Yes. Level up some trade, maybe. Consumer goods. Encounter here. All right. Uh, yeah. Ships upscaled. We could get some points for that. Busy harming relation. Like, yeah, can use her. Um, what is going? Oh, we have dark matter already here as well. Yeah, so we have at least three dark matter positions. I think it's three, four. We have four dark matters. And here as well, if we get that zone. Nice. How are we doing? Still upgrading. But I think one fleet was done, and that was the Secundus fleet. Uh, that means we can start planning for the Secundus fleet to um, improve. Let's see if we have cheap alloys on the market. We don't, but I will buy 2,500 anyway. So we have 20,000 alloys to pick from here. Uh, let's see how to deal with this. Secundus fleet. Uh, they need a destroyer. I'm in a battleship here. So one battleship. Cruiser, one more, why not? Destroyers. Corvettes can go up all the way to 50. Yeah, like that. Reinforce that fleet. Reinforce it all. Right, he's done here. Uh, we don't have that much influence. We can wait with expansion for a while. Research actualized. Council agenda, that is uh, war exhaustion, militaries, yeah, could be useful right now. The next one, though, will be citizen pop happiness, maybe. Commercial pact efficiency. Uh, we do have colonies going about as well, colony development speed. But no. We will use um, open markets. Galactic Stock Exchange. We cannot build in the orbital ring yet anyway. Get that ship firing rate thing. Command Matrix. 
it's exotic gas refineries, but I do want armored torpedoes first. To be more hard hitting. Yeah, you're you're there. Nice. Let's go to Nunky Two. Okay, the other one is there as well. So colonize in Nunki 2, so that means Persepolis will go to Nunki 3. Thunder World and Ocean World. That means you can colonize now. What is that? Okay, something to research there? Maybe? What the fuck is that? Research projects in system. Potential spaceborne resource encountered. Colonial enterprise upsizing. I don't think we will make it. A try anyway. Chairwoman will be... Build ship speed. Yeah, strategist. It's needed right now. Exploring Astral Rift. Good. Hyper jump. Sublight speed. Go with that. Also relics of private collectors. Peaceful application. Arcane tech. Let's go with that. Nourishment center on our planets. Okay. Okay, it's cooled down, right. Repeal buzzword standardization. The free market should be left to its own device without meddling in the like Yeah, support. Oh, it's them. Okay, okay. Yeah, continue to figure out who they are. How is the war going? My friends are not losing any ground yet. They are actually pushing. And have taken ground. I like that. Uh, Feglan. Potential spaceborne resource encountered. Alright, uh, you need to go here. Right? I believe so. Then you have to go here, then. Uh, will the science ship make it? I don't think so. Foreign market leaders request contact. Okay, 54 influence. It was these guys. Interesting. Uh, right. It's 143 influence now. Okay. More about this war here. We have entered the derelict carcass. We're, we are driving into this monster now. It's so big. Uh, or maybe we're walking in with troops. I don't know. While we were unable to penetrate remarkable armor of the creature, we did succeed in opening its mouth with its aid a large quantity of the explosive. A small team vent. Yeah, small team. Venture through the mouths of the beast to better understand its internals and collect samples of its tissues. The interior is fascinating. Countless rows of sharp teeth indicate that it was a predatory organism. A very efficient digestive system occupied the majority of its bulk and revealed that the creature was in habit consuming a wide variety of materials. We were also able to estimate the time and cause of death despite the creature's omnivorous habit habits. There were clear signs of dehydration. This could indicate that uh, that is not native to the this dimension, finding nothing here to drink. Based on carbon dating, the organism passed away after fifty thousand, yeah, over fifty thousand years ago. So gene tailoring, research option gained. Option, all right, all right, all right. We're not done yet there, though. Uh, scientist Fernandez, uh, okay, cloaking strength. Sublight speed. Yeah, prospector. Let's go. 
Colonial Enterprise established. Upscaling complete. Our military power is fucking growing right now. They're still overwhelming. I hate it. Uh, two of these three city districts, maybe. Like this and like this. Diplomatic uh, communication. Yeah, they're rivaling us. Okay, it does not matter to assault them right now. They hate me so much. I really need to build this fleet. I feel very, very threatened. Uh, where are we supposed to expand right now? Yeah, we, we need to expand here. Build a star base outpost. Research actualized. We got that one, the matrix. Colony development speed. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. Need to vote for this though. Uh, pre FTL service parents requiring space flight and galactic community. As such, we must treat the future members with dignity and respect. Uh, no, we must not. Peace and pro prosperity, Rager 3. Alright. Pre FTL. Remarkable, this is highly uncommon. They are more resources than they need. Uh, yeah. Gain that research from 10,000 engineering. Private colony ship is in position, and you are in position here. But we are awaiting that research. So we need to fix that first before we can colonize. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Damn, this is taking a long time. It's crazy. Research actualized. I'm thinking of building one more shipyard or something. No. Skip it. Armor torpedoes, nice. Uh, mining station output, I think we should go with um, defense now. Uh, let's. I'm thinking of swarmer missiles, to have missiles on going as well on our ships. I think that is pretty cheap as well. Yeah, right now it is. I guess, yeah, this is a new rift we're exploring. Outside the sphere, there's nothing but white. Initial readings indicate that an equal amount of every color of the spectrum is bombarding us from every direction at once. We have no way to determine our bearings. Our alley meters, depth gorges and compasses are completely inoperable or clearly in error. Visually there is an absolutely no deviation from the empty whiteness surrounding us. Perhaps if we travel far enough we can escape these disruptions. Alternately we can we could explore this area in more detail with help of a drone. I want to know what that is, yes. Explore it. Archaeology. Continue on. Need to end this episode. Now we have colonized here. That means we can build research stations and start colonizing Shell 1, for example. That is a Gaia world. Pretty, pretty big as well. Imagine rolling the dice there for the uh, colony ships. Who will get the guy world and who will get the arid, arid world? Colonial oh, there's a... Uh, wow, okay, we can build there. Are you done? Yes, you are. Then you'll build here. You can build a research station and you will build... 
uh, you will actually go up here and prepare to expand. Voting from Galactic... Now we're voting for the Galactic Ships Council. It seems that it will be a thing. There's a lot of these guys who are not into it. Yeah, we're almost there as well. <laughs> ah, annoying. Fleet upgraded. But we s we're still upgrading, so... This means that we have another fleet done. That is the Tertius fleet. So we can max this one out as well. They need a battleship. And they need another cruiser. Secundus has five, yeah. And then we have destroyers, so let's just max out this as much as possible. And then reinforce all. Collect Catharian Collective declared Sin Empire rival. We examine the remains of the warship within the rift. Uh, the smooth surfaces of the alien crafts bear similar similarities to the design of our rift sphere spheres. Remarkably, it seems that these vessels were designed to freely enter and exit rifts without the need of anchor cable extractions. While our engineers worked on understanding this technology, the rest of the team discovered a large dodecahedron nestled in the interior of the Loris wreck. Without further testing, if it's possible to speculate on its purpose, but its careful storage indicates it would have been regarded as important. So ship it for parts or try to activate it. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to activate it, see what happens. It's close to Earth though, so I don't know if this research is wise. Actualized. Technology research, that's a swarm of missiles. We can continue on with the missiles or go flak cannons maybe. Starbase module cost. Destroyer build speed. Now let's go with this research. To give a faster research. But now I need to end the episode. And uh, are we excavating? No, too low level, I think. Yeah. We don't have any uh, anomalies either. No. No, we don't. Um, oh, the science ship is almost there as well. So we will make it, I think. Yeah, it will take 180 days to complete it. Move into the Thegian system. Uh, yeah. Is that both ships? No, it's not. Building research station. Yeah, you're going to Caleb 3. Colonizing. Same here. We need to give the order to go to this moon. Colonizing. There we go. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, we need to wait until we're done there. Otherwise, we are fine. Let's just check the rest here to clean everything up before we end. Uh, this and more like here. Let's go gene clinics. Yep. Upscaling complete. So very interesting. We're continuing to build our fleet. Uh, it's getting very, very strong. We now have... What is it? 50... 54... 64... Yeah, like 68,000. We have more than doubled since we fought uh, for the fucking Rubricator, I think. We have gained a lot of fleet power. So I can understand a little bit now why we are so worthless there. They're still overwhelming though, which is crazy. But we, we can get a lot more naval capacity if we want to, but we need we need more command limit. More command limit is needed. I think we can activate here as well. Cruiser 5. Uh, let's see. Destroyer 11. What else? Uh, cruiser 5. Yeah. 
reinforce everything there. There we go. So I hope you are enjoying it. I'm very scared of Istran Authority right now, but I'm building a fleet to finally maybe be able to attack them, but I will not attack them while the war is going on here. And it seems like our Federation is winning. That's good for them. Uh, if Clorcisu would have been uh, occupied here, I would have moved in with my fleet and uh, removed the enemy. But it seems like we are really crushing the op opposition here and that feels good. So we will see. We're still the greatest nation in the game. And we're closing into the mid-mid, the absolute mid of the game. So, I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Well, a new time. Building better worlds.